So this is Turbo Care Deluxe 2015. When you first load it, open it up, this is the screen you're confronted with. Now in this first film, I'm going to show you how I customize it to suit me. Um, now, the changes I'm going to show you, you don't have to do. You can use the screen as it is here. You can follow all the instructions I give you here, or you can follow some and not others. It's up to you. I'm going to show you the how I set it up so that it suits me. Not necessarily all exactly how you'd want it. Anyway, so the first thing is I don't like this black screen. Uh, black on the outside. I think it constrains the drawing personally. So I'm going to go to Tools, Workspace, Customize. Here it says Styles and Themes. I'm going to click onto that. Here it's, that's the default, you see, the black outside. I want TurboCAD Classic. Close. Close. That to me is clearer. Now, TurboCAD opens up with lots of tools all the way around as you can see. Some packages open up with very few tools at the beginning. You have to bring them all out. TurboCAD defaults to having lots out. We have got a column of tools here. So if you go to the top of the column and where the cursor turns to crosshairs with arrows on the end, if you left click you can drag that out into the middle. You can do the same with the column on the right and drag those out. Now as we're going to be predominantly dealing with 2D, and maybe some of you are only dealing in 2D, a lot of these tools are to do with 3D. So here we've got a sphere, we've got a wall tool here. Some of these other tools, select, takes you out of, of the tool you're working in it back into select mode. You get that simply by hitting the, um, the space bar. Down here we've got copy tools, well, we do need copying tools, but we're going to put those somewhere else. We've got lighting. Chances are you won't want that. Adding and subtraction, subtraction of solids. So perhaps we don't want that. So let's get rid of those and get rid of those. Now, also, this one here, I'm going to get rid of this one because we've got a new drawing. Well, I'm going to do that by file. We've got a save, which I can do by control S or do it through file as well. Uh, sorry, that's open, that's save. Print, control P. Uh, zoom in and out, I'm going to do it on my mouse. So again, we've got lots of things that we don't, we're not going to use too often, or there may be other ways of doing it, quicker ways of doing it, maybe. So I'm going to close that. These here, we're just going to get rid of those. It defaults to Imperial. So we've got inches across the top. Now, although lots of people still use feet and inches, and I buy lots of things in feet and inches, most of the time we're going to be dealing in millimeters. Most of you are going to be dealing in millimeters. So let's make sure it defaults to millimeters. So file, page setup wizard. Here it's defaulted to what we call Imperial, what the Americans call English. So I'll change that to metric, go to next. If we choose metric, it's going to presume millimeters. It's going to default to six decimal po points. Don't worry about that. You don't have to show six decimal points on your when you print it out, so you can leave that. Give it a name. Now I always do that later on. Uh, landscape. This is all to do with the printing. We have to forget about that for now. Scale, full size. Yes, of course. This is all to do with where we put the uh, drawing on the paper in paper space. We'll sort that out later. Go to next. Page six is important. Save settings click onto that box. That means now next time you open a drawing it's going to be in metric. Finish. So we're getting somewhere. Next I am going to go up to options and program setup. Now there's a box here that says last window layout. Now all these changes we're making we're setting the the, the user interface, the screen, as we want it. Now we don't want to have to do that every time, so if we check this box here, last window layout, it means when we open a new drawing, we won't be opening our old drawing, but we'll be opening the drawer, the drawing will open and the things that we've 
cut out that we're going to use all the time, the general layout will be the same as we've left it. So that seems to make sense, that one. Last window layout. You can click this one, that opens the last drawing you're working on. Next one down is preferences. Now, zooming in and out of a drawing, we do by rolling the wheel mouse in and out. And that def that's called a zoom factor, it's a zoom factor of 2. If we take that down to 1.2, it zooms in and out a little bit more smoothly, and that's what I do. 1.2 I think is the lowest we can take it. And desktop, here. Now, rules. We've got our rulers here. Now, I don't need those rulers. I know how big my object is. I'm going to be relating to the objects, typing sizes in. I'm not really going to be looking at these rulers, so I'm going to get rid of those as well. So, we progress. Next thing, so we've got no tools at the moment. If we right click, we've got some tools here. But these are, again, these are rendering tools, these are 3D tools, work plane tools, that's a 3D tool. So we've got some tools here we don't really, we're not really going to use most of the time. But what we can do is on our right click of the mouse, we could put the tools that we're going to use all the time. So we could go to tools, workspace customize and here where it says pop up toolbars click onto that now all those ones that show that showed when i right clicked were the defaults pop up one two and three so we turn those off now for these drawings mostly we're going to well we're certainly going to be drawing in line so i click on line we're certainly going to be drawing circles and ellipses circle and ellipse so i'll turn those on if we're doing buildings, we probably want double line, but I'll leave that for now. We can add or subtract these later. Close. Now, when I right-click my mouse, I've just got those tools. So, if I want to draw a circle, I choose a circle, I draw a circle. If I now want a rectangle, I click a rectangle. The other way of showing the tools is to go to Tools, Palettes, Tools and they all come out over here on the right. So at the beginning when you're learning it's probably good to have all these out and whoop, can't quite see the dimensions but you can make this box bigger so we can see everything. When you're first starting off if you're learning it's probably a good idea to have all these tools out but as time goes on you'll find that some of these tools you'll probably hardly ever use. So say for example I'm never going to use the multi-line, the dimensions I'm only going to do once right at the end, I don't need that, if I'm not doing any walls I won't use double lines I may not use curves, I may not use arcs. Once the snaps are set up, and we'll talk about snaps in another film, they're done. So you may just need those two out. But if they're just the ones you're using, you can have them on the right click of your mouse, so you don't really need them taking up this space here. So I would close that. Okay, the grid, Alt-G, turns it off, Alt-G, turns it on. Copy tools are ones we are going to use a lot and very important to most people. So those might be a good idea to have those out all the time. Up the top here I've got some space so I could put some tools up here. If I come up here and right click, all my tools appear. So my menu bar is already out, the inspector bar is this one down at the bottom, that's already out. Now copy, it's in alphabetical order, click on to copy, there's my copy tools, I'm going to close that hover over the uh, blue stripe at the top, left click, keep your finger down, take those up there. There you go, so my copy tools are there, they're not taking up any more space. Now for me I'm ready to start drawing and whatever I do here now, here's my drawing I'm working on and when I start a new drawing I'll go to File, New, new from scratch and you can see I've got the same the same setup that I left not the same drawing but I've got the same setup oh gee if I want to turn off the grid okay for me now I'm ready to start work <laughs>